Welcome back to this channel for practice problems for actuarial exams. My name is Krzysztof Ostaszewski. You can find information about me at smartyworld.it forward slash Jedi. My advice on how to pass actuarial exams is at smartyworld.it forward slash pass. This video channel is at smartyworld.it forward slash pass actuarial exams. Here you have information about online seminars and study manuals for exams P, FM, IFM, and LTAM that I offer. I direct the actual program at Illinois State University. You can find information about it at smarturl.it forward slash actuary. If you would like to offer a tax-deductible donation to support our students, please go to smarturl.it forward slash help ISU actuary. Here's the problem for today for exam P on probability. Suppose the remaining lifetimes of a husband and a wife are independent and uniformly distributed on the interval 0 to 40. An insurance company offers two products to married couples, one which pays when the husband dies and one which pays when both the husband and wife have died. Calculate the covariance of the two payment times. And here's the solution. Let us write H for the random time to death of the husband um, and W the time to death of the wife till, till death and H be the time to the second death of the two. Clearly um, X is equal to uh, maximum of a H and W. And we know that the density of H and the density of W is 1 over 40 because it's uniform distribution from 0 to 40. Um, and then we know that the expected value of H is equal to the expected value of W, which is 20 in the midpoint of the interval from 0 to 40. Furthermore, the uh, um, F sub X of X, the uh, cumulative distribution function of X, is the probability that X is less than or equal to X. That's the probability that maximum of H uh, and W is less than or equal to X. And that's the probability um, that's the same probability as the probability that both of them are less than or equal to h. But because they're independent, that's a product of those two probabilities. And that's x over 40 times x over 40, so it's x squared over 1600. And this implies that the survival function of x is 1 minus x squared over 1600 for x between 0 and 40. And therefore, we can find the expected value using the Darth Vader rule for the expected value of x is the integral from 0 to 40 of 1 minus x squared over 1600 dx. And that's 40 minus uh, 40 cubed over 4800. That's um, the same as 120 over 3 minus 40 over 3. And that's 80 over 3. In order to find covariance, we also need to find e of x, uh, x times h, uh, which is um, the expected value of h times the maximum of h and w. We separate the double integral that we would need to calculate to find this expected value into two parts, one based on the region where the wife lives longer and one based on the region where the husband lives longer, as illustrated in this graph. So we have above the diagonal line the area where uh, maximum of h and w is w, and uh, w is represented by the vertical axis and h by horizontal axis. And then below the line is the region where maximum of uh, um, x, uh, h and w is h. Uh, and then we work with those two uh, regions. So the expected value of h times maximum of h and w is the integral from minus infinity to plus infinity of the integral from minus infinity to plus infinity of h times maximum of h and w times the density of h times the density of w uh, dw dh. But of course it's not really going from minus infinity to plus infinity because we only calculate the uh, integral where the density is positive and we calculate it over two regions separately. So the first in part is the um, integral from h equal to 0 to h equal to 40 of the integral fr from w equal to 0 to w equal to h of, well, in this region, the maximum is h. So it's just h squared times 1 over 40 times 1 over 40 dw and then dh. And then the integral from h equal to 0 to h equal to 40 of the integral from w equal to h to w equal to 40 and now w is the maximum of the two, so it's the integral of h times w times 1 over 40 times 1 over 40 dw dh. And now it's a straightforward 
uh, calculation. The first integral is h squared w over 1600 evaluated from 0 to h. Um, and then we take the integral from 0 to 40 uh, with respect to h of that, plus the integral from 0 to 40 of mm, hw squared over 3200 from w equal to h to w equal to 40, and um, um, we need to calculate this for, um, integral of this with respect to h. So this becomes the integral from 0 to 40 of h cubed over 1600 dh plus the integral from 0 to 40 of 1600 h minus h cubed over 3200 dh. Um, and uh, well, we can actually combine the two. And uh, this becomes um, uh, the uh, integral from 0 to 40 of 1 half h plus uh, 1 over 3200 h cubed dh. That's 1 fourth h squared plus uh, 1 over uh, 12,800 h to the fourth evaluated from h equal to 0 to h equal to 40. That's 1 fourth times 40 squared plus 1 over 12,800 times 40 to the fourth, and that ends up being equal to 600. So covariance is equal to e of xh minus e of x times e of h, and that's equal to 600 minus 20 times uh, 80 over 3, and that ends up being 66 and 2 thirds, or approximately 66.67, which is answer C. Please remember this is copyrighted material. The problem itself belongs to the Society of Actuaries. The solution is mine. Good luck in your studies, and good luck on the test.